Hey, what's up guys? It is DJ. Today we've got some new and updated mods to take a look at from the SMI modding team. I'm actually recording this video a few days before its release, so uh, one or two of the things in this video may be a little bit different than what's out. I'm going off of information that I've been given, but there's some really cool stuff that's been released for all platforms and some really cool updates for PC as well, so let's talk about them. First up, let's talk about new ones for all platforms, and we have to start with the Grisoni CRX headers. These are finally out here for all platforms. We have three versions like we did in Form Sim 19. We have a 6 meter, 6.6, .6, and the one I'm going to be using, 7.2. These work with all standard 6 crops, so that is great news. Now, 6 miles per hour, max working speed on these. You're not going to be going any faster than that, so do keep that in mind. Now, configurations, colors. This is different from attacher type, so I want you to know that ahead of time. Configurations we have for the new Holland. We can do John Deere, Kloss, Case, Agco, Ideal, Fent, Massey Ferguson, Russell Mash, and the Verda. Now, we can also do a safety bar across the front, and then we have the attachment type. Now, these are kind of, uh, some use the same, some don't. So we have the New Holland CH or CR. We have the John Deere T560, Kloss Lexian, Kloss Tryon. Those are different. We also have the Case IH Axle Flow, Fent and Massey Ferguson Ideal, and then back to the New Holland. This is going to change up the way that it attaches to your combine. So you definitely need to make sure that you pick the right one. The one that I went for in the uh, showcase right here is the exact one that goes perfectly with this combine. Now this is going to make things super easy when you guys are going from field to field and maybe a smaller map, something like that. You take a seven meter header and you split it in half, then it becomes like a three point something, whatever, meter header. Boom, and bring it in. Does take a little bit to get through this uh, animation. However, hey, look at that. Look, now just a little bit more than the width of the combine and you're ready to go. Uh, the, the view does make it a bit more difficult, but I tell you what, this is just so epic that we finally have this out for all platforms. The next new one for all platforms is gonna be the New Holland Fold Bar. There's actually a branded version that's not New Holland, but that's gonna be for PC only. We'll talk about that a little bit later. On here, we have a lot of different things that we can change up. So decals, we've got red or decals white. So if you go with red, you get kind of like the yellow and blue New Holland. And then if you change it up for decals white, it's just gonna be all white. Little bit of red still left in there, but there you go. We also have attachment type. We have the New Holland, we have Kloss, we have the John Deere, and then back into the New Holland. Now we have colors for that as well. So we have the red Kloss, if you wanna go with that. We have the New Holland yellow. We also have John Deere, Fent, and the SMI black edition which is so cool so smi modding are actually the creators of all of these mods that we're going to be talking about today so very very cool also i do want to thank them for uh helping me get this video done because i'm on vacation when you guys are watching this so there you go uh this is for your forge harvesters and it will fold up so you have the folding animation on here just like the Crisoni. Next, we got some tillage for you. This is the Okrama JH series. Four pieces of equipment. We have their Hyde 300-350, that's Cultivator. Then we have a Jackal, the Disc Hero. Then we also have another Jekyll series for the 300 and rounding out with Hyde on a Cultivator. So basically we have three meter and four to six meters. So here is your uh, Hyde 300, that's your cultivator. Folds up nice and easy. We've got uh, this bit right here, which is your disc arrow. Then we can change it up a little bit. So the design, we have the Jekyll, the 400, or the five, or the six. So four, five, and six meters respectively on there. And you can see, it looks like we've got some extra little hitches there too. And then we can boom this out. The camera is kind of showing at the wrong spot, but the, the four, five or six so you're able to use all of that together you got your cultivator you got your disc arrow <laughs> i think you got tillage covered next to last new one for all platforms will be the valentini diablo series 140 horsepower four meter spread at five miles per hour this is a cultivator but more importantly this is a very very cool power hero we have the spike roller on there uh, you've also got a spiral and a packer roller so different packer uh, or different rollers rather we have the track bending anchors yep or no and then we have the design so we can go with four or five meter i know four meters a little bit small but five meters is getting a little bit better at least for uh, most viewers on this so here you go. If you need it, you got it. And the last one that I'm seeing is new for all platforms is Valentini Ripper 5500. This is a five meter, 180 horsepower required subsoiler. This 
is a very big subsoiler for very little horsepower required. So if you are looking to really make a difference when it comes to subsoiling, I think this is going to be the one to go with, man. Did, I don't know if this just made all other subsoilers uh, obsolete, but it's certainly a great way, to, <laughs> a great place to start. Check it out. I'm also seeing a couple updates for all platforms as well. The first one is the uh, Mascar Montana 600. Right here again, I think for the longest time I thought this was going to be some kind of NASCAR mod, but no, but no, alas, this is just this mod right here. Now, they have got an update 105 for this, fixing the stability when detached. However, I've been told that this is coming on platform, so keep a lookout for this one. It is a cedar. This is a planter's, but it is a cedar. It does all eight of your standard seeding crops, holds 1,600 liters of seed, 120 horsepower. Power, six meter spread at seven miles an hour. And crossplay players also have an update to the Vineyard Crossplay Pack. This is going to be update version 1.1. They've added this Feltrina Vineyard 3AX. This is a trailer to hold some different crops or your grapes and olives. A great trailer to use with that. We've got multiple different zones in here, 20,000 liters total. We have different wheel setups if you want to go with that. We do have a main color as well, so maybe you don't want the frame to be the color that it was. You could change it up or you could do like me and just go for a nice onyx black. I think it looks great like that. They've also added the possibility to load different crops into the Feltrina trailer. So we have the uh, Vignetta here, Vignetta rather. This holds 12,000 liters and now this too will hold different stuff. And in addition to all of that, they have added the Okrama stuff for crossplay versions. So uh, this stuff, I guess, has been rebranded to Okrama, which is super duper cool. This is also updated on PC, but uh, a little bit different there. So let's talk about PC players. We have the Marangon Foldbar 616. This is like that New Holland Foldbar, but uh, yeah, it's down here instead. Uh, we do have different decals, so... Um, if you want the decals white or the decals red, uh, thing is it's Marangon, um, but not New Holland anymore. A little bit different. So there is that attachment. We still have the same attachments here. So make sure you choose the right one and make sure you choose the right color, of course. And lastly, we have the update for PC players on the Vineyard Pack. We also have a changelog version 1.1, same as the cross play. And basically everything's the same except for the last part. So that's why I was saying it is different. It's just kind of less because Okrama was already in this version. So we have the Feltrina Vignetto 3AX. Again, we talked about this one already. It's the exact same thing. And they say they've added the possibility to load different sets of crops into the Feltrina trailer. So again, that is the same as well. And that is it. That is all of the mods, at least that I have ahead of time to show you. There could be more that were released today. However, I'm away from the computer if you're watching this day up for a few days. So unfortunately, I won't be able to do anything. I'll do my best to make any pinned comments or post up any uh, community tab, stuff like that, if anything has changed. And hey, if you guys want to help me out and post it down in the comments as well, I'll be happy to pin that for you. Otherwise, I just Appreciate you watching this. Big shout out to SMI Monique for helping me get this video done early so that I can spend a little bit of time with friends and family myself. And hopefully you guys are being able to spend some friends or time with friends and family on the holiday season as well. Either way, just hope you have a great day. Enjoy playing with some new mods. We'll see you later.